We've been getting hundreds of requests on how we built our greenhouse, so let's show you how we did it. What's going on everyone? It's Phil from Earth Nails and Tails and today we're gonna to take you on the journey and show you exactly how we built our 100% DIY greenhouse. We've previously done a tour and you can watch it right here, but today we wanna to go into the details of exactly how we built our 10 by eight greenhouse. So it's about 10 feet deep and eight feet wide and almost nine feet tall. And it's built out of 26 reclaimed windows that we purchased from a local. So we decided to make the outside, the walls of the greenhouse completely out of glass. And then we used polycarbonate to create the roofs, the gables, as well as the door. And this might be really obvious, but before the greenhouse was here, it looked like this. And the very first thing that we had to do was reach out to our city with our survey and show them the dimensions of our greenhouse. Our permit application was as simple as that. And once we got that submitted and approved, we got started building. First, we created the foundation, which is right here. And the whole greenhouse is sitting on four four by fours, two of which are eight feet long and the other two are 10 feet long and they are rebarred into the soil. So this thing is nice and solid, nice and level, and it created a great surface for us to build the walls of each side of the greenhouse on top of. Make sure you take that extra time to ensure that the foundation is nice and solid and level because that's gonna completely affect how the rest of the build turns out. But once we had that all figured out, set and ready to go, we started constructing the walls. And as you can see, we've got four windows across and two windows high, and we use two by fours in order to frame everything together. The back of the greenhouse is only three windows wide and the front of the greenhouse is a little bit different because we wanted to add a door. So we use these two thinner windows stacked on top of each other and then we built our door out of polycarbonate. In order to create each of the walls and the back and the front panels, we first started with a nice level surface and we built this during the winter in our shed but we got the windows oriented the way that we wanted. Since this is a completely custom build, it all depends on what type of windows that you get. But we laid them out, and then we used two by fours on either side of the windows in order to connect them together and build a nice solid structure. It's easier to see from the inside that each wall is essentially built of four different panels. First, we took two windows and we connected them together with screws and then we attach them to create the wall using two by fours on each side. We essentially created four of these, so that way each wall is enclosed by a two by four. And then once we had the whole wall together, we put a two by four on the top, as well as on the bottom to create the final panel. We did the exact same thing for the back wall, except instead of it being four windows deep, it's only three windows deep, but we use the exact same windows as we did on the sides. Creating the entrance of the greenhouse was a little bit different, but not that much more complicated. All we did was use these smaller windows, and then what was left on the inside, we framed out to create a door. And that's why we used polycarbonate in order to create the door because it was much easier in order to machine and put together and to create a door that fit this opening. Now, once we got all of our walls finally assembled, it was time to stand them up. So we just walked each one of the walls out and we stood it up on the foundation and then screwed the two x four framing into our four x four foundation. In order to attach the walls together, we came in on the inside and put some screws through the ending wall two by fours and attach them to the adjacent wall and two by fours. If you're liking this build so far, make sure you drop us a like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on all the other DIY projects we're creating on our homestead. Even before we started installing the roof, I could already tell that this thing was nice and solid and installing the roof was gonna make it even more durable. I know the roof design is really unique and I designed it in order to help promote passively cool the greenhouse. So as the wind passes over the prevailing side, it's supposed to suck the hot air out of the vent that's at the top to help keep the greenhouse cool. 
Another option is what I would highly recommend and what I'll probably do to modify my greenhouse in the future is to install some windows that are actually able to open and close. So that way when it gets really hot outside, you have that option to vent all that hot air out. And that's exactly why I've got those windows back there. But in order to create the roof of the greenhouse, we first had to create a header beam. And we elevated that off of the main structure of the greenhouse with two by fours. So we put a two by four standing up vertically on the front wall and the back wall. And then we took a two by six beam and ran that along the length of the greenhouse in order to allow the rafters to sit on. Since I knew I was going to create the roof out of this polycarbonate material, I knew that they were about two feet wide, but a little bit less with some overlap. And you have to take this into account when you're installing your rafters because your rafters have to be close enough together, but far enough apart to span the width of each one of those polycarbonate panels. So we wound up installing six two by four rafters on each side of the greenhouse. And then we also installed some horizontal two by fours between the rafters in order to ensure that each of the polycarbonate panels was going to be properly secured. Now that our walls and our roof were together, it was time to stain. And we got a nice white exterior stain and I think the greenhouse turned out beautiful. I really debated on what type of color that I wanted to stain the greenhouse, but the white just looks so crisp and clean and it really creates a focal point out here in the garden. It took us a few days to get the greenhouse fully stained, but after that was done, it was finally time to put on the roof panels. And these polycarbonate panels by SunTuff were actually super easy to install. You can buy these ridged plastic pieces, which sit on the frame of the greenhouse. So you install those first, and then you just lay the polycarbonate panels on top and they simply lock together. So it made the process really simple. The only thing that you have to be careful of is cutting each individual panel. Depending on the dimensions of your greenhouse, you might have to make more cuts than you thought of. So make sure you're using the right tools, measuring twice, cutting once to ensure that you're getting the proper fit. And after some trial and error, I found that using my circular saw was the easiest way in order to get this job done. Just make sure you take things relatively slow so you're not splitting your polycarbonate panels. Now, after the roof was installed, I was able to take some double walled polycarbonate panels to create the gables. And this was really important in the design because I didn't want to spend a lot of extra money getting custom fitted glass in order to fit the gable. So I was able to find this relatively inexpensive double walled polycarbonate that was going to be really good for the gable because in the winter time, it would provide a good source of insulation and keep all of that heat from leaving the greenhouse. Not only were they reasonably affordable, but they were easy to machine. You could just simply take an X-Acto knife and cut them to any shape that you want. So they worked really perfect for creating these gables. And in order to install them properly, I simply just made a little lip on the inside of the greenhouse with some trim in order to create a ledge that I pushed those gable pieces up against. And then I glued them in place. And then I just put a trim piece over the front in order to seal everything up. As I talked about before, for the front of the greenhouse, we utilize these smaller windows in order to leave a large enough opening to create a door. So we simply framed out the door with two by fours. But one thing that I did have to do was utilize my table saw and cut some channels into that two by four that were the thickness of the polycarbonate panel. That way I could take that panel and slip it into the two by four. The frame of the door would hold that polycarbonate panel nice and tight. So I basically assembled the sides and the bottom and this middle piece right here. I cut a groove into this piece as well. And then I slid in the panel from the top. And once the panel was locked in, I had a groove cut in that top two by four as well. And then I just basically put it on like a cap and then screwed it all together. At the end of the day, this is a super fun build. I really enjoyed creating this greenhouse from scratch, designed the plans myself. I was able to find windows that completely satisfied my needs and we were able to put the whole thing together for about $1,200. Now, mind you, this was back in 2020, so the prices might have changed a little bit, but if you do your due diligence, do your research and are able to find 
some materials that someone else doesn't want anymore, you can save a significant amount of money. So not only are you gonna get the satisfaction of saying, I built this myself, but you could potentially create a beautiful greenhouse like this. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to sum things up for today's video. And I hope you use this as a resource when you decide to build your own greenhouse. And we've got lots of great content on the channel, earth nails and tails. We've got gardening, we've got DIY, and we've got chickens. And we hope you use our other videos as well in order to create your own lifestyle. I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, my name is Phil from Earth Nails and Tails, and I'll see you for the next video.